Hey guys, it is Alpha here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at Conan Exiles and this little annoying error that pops up every now and then with Battle Eye. So, as you can see on my screen at the moment, we have uh, one server which is currently my favourites. Now, this is my server, um, it is called The Den, so I will leave the name for this server uh, in the description for this video, so if you guys would like to come and play, uh, join the server and check it out, uh, it's still a work in progress at the moment while we're making this video, um, but you know, you'd be more than welcome to come and join me if you please. Uh, but anyway, let's cut to the chase and get into fixing this problem. So if I select my server here and I go join, as you can see there is a error that pops up on our screen that says uh, battle is required, uh, this server requires battle eye but battle eye does not seem to be running. So what we're going to do is we're going to click OK and we're just going to back out of the game completely. Alright so now we're back on the desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our Steam um, we're going to go into our Steam library, which is back here, All right, and there is Conan Exiles. So from here what we're going to do is, we're just going to right click on this, and we're going to go into Properties. Now from Properties you want to find this little tab here called Local Files. Now once you go into the Local Files, um, you will want to go to uh, Browse Local Files. All right, So that will then pull up the directory for where all of your game files are installed for Conan Exiles. Now, for me, as you can see, like I've got mine on my games SSD, in my Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Conan Exiles, and that will bring you to this box here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into the Conan's Sandbox, go into Binaries, into a Win64, and then you want to find this folder here. It's called Battle Eye. And we're just going to right click on that one. And we're going to go delete. Alright. So now we are actually done with this part of it. So what we can do is we can close that off. And then we can come back to this window. Alright. So then what we're going to do is we're going to look at this option here called Verify Integrity of Game Files. Alright. So we'll click on that. And it'll pop up with this window right here. So what this is actually going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to check for um, any files that are either missing or corrupted and it's basically just going to do a very quick fix. Um, now there is quite a few other videos out there that will say that you know this particular method will fix this completely but what I will tell you is that is not necessarily the case. So there is actually a secondary step to what we're doing here and what I will do for you guys just so you don't have to wait for the percentage to roll over um, I will actually pause my recording now and we'll cut back to it when it's at 100% and I will show you guys the next step for this fix. Alrighty guys and we are back so the files have finished verifying I had a little window pop up a moment ago that I just closed um, that said the verification was at 100% uh, so what we're actually going to do is, if you do have that window, just close it off, because you don't need it anymore, it's just letting you know it's done. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, it's going to click this close button, and because we deleted um, the battle eye uh, from the, the core folders, uh, or from the core files, whichever way you want to um, say it, um, we're just going to go down here and click on downloads and normally you would have something up here that says you know download of like you know 12 megabytes or something like that. Um, I'm not sure why mine doesn't say that at this point but honestly it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to come across to here to this little icon and we're going to go uninstall Battleye and then it'll pop up with this and say hey uh, would you like to uninstall the Battleye service from your system. Now we are going to click yes and it's just prompt it's just prompted me because I've got admin privileges connected to it. Um, and now we've got Battle Eye service has been uninstalled. Beautiful. Alright. So I know that you guys are like, hey, but we just deleted the folder for it. Why would you uninstall it for a second time? So the reason that um, Battle Eye pops up originally and says, Hey, this isn't working for us, um, 
is because it's basically stopped the process for Battleye running in the background. So like, if you pull up your task manager, as an example, you would normally have like a process down here in the background processes that say um, either Battleye services or BE service or something like that. Um, and that's what you want running while the game is running. All right, so we're just gonna close that one off because we don't need that now. And we're gonna go back here to this icon once more, and we're going to go install the battle line. So now that's going to prompt me, and basically, uh, okay, that was strange. Alright, well, it should have popped up again with another window to say, hey, battle line's been installed, but if it doesn't look, that's okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to click on play, and as you can see, we now have the battle line launcher popping up to say, hey, in order to, um, you know, use this, you need to click OK and acknowledge that, you know, we are going to be um, processing your information as described above. You can read this if you want, doesn't really matter, uh, but make sure you click OK at this point. All right. So now what this is going to do is, because I've just launched the game, it should pop up in a moment and it should allow us to... Um, actually get into our server. Now mine is actually a modded server, um, so I may have to close the game and reopen it to uh, update and verify the mod packs that we have for it. Um, hoping that won't be the case, but I guess we'll we'll find out in a second. So we can skip through all that. Now we can go into play, and as you can see, here's our server right here, and we're just going to click join. Now, yep, so I've got a mod mismatch, um, this does happen with modded servers, so you don't really need to worry about this, but as you can see, we've already gone past the point uh, where it's saying, you know, BattleEye is not working. Alright, so uh, what's going to happen here is this game is now going to close out to my desktop, it's going to relaunch uh, once it's got its status checks all completed and checked off and, you know, everything is hunky-dory. Um, and then, yeah, it's basically going to, like I said, it's going to relaunch the game, uh, which hopefully will just be in a moment, and then it should automatically put me into my server. Um, so, look guys, you know, I really hope that you guys find this video uh, both enjoyable, educational, and insightful. I hope that this does fix your problem. Um, but if it doesn't, um, just put a message down in the comments below, um, and I will do my very best to help you guys out. Um, well, I think that's all for today. Best of luck, guys, and we'll see you next time.